welcome everyone. Today we are upgrading the processor in the Mac Pro. Oh, that ain't right. Let's try this one. And this could get interesting. So we are starting with the base model 4 core version. I'm a little odd, so I decided to go with an odd choice. We are going to go up to the 10 core processor. A 10 core processor. There was no 10 core processor option. It's easy. You just throw some. That didn't go well. And some would be like, oh, let's add, let's see what we got here. Four cores here. Done. Got another two cores here. Shake it up. Oh, look at that. We have a 10 core Mac Pro. It's not that easy. Instead, you gotta take the processor out and drop this guy in there. It is a Intel E5 2680V2. It is a 115 watt processor. And you may know or not know that the processor in the Mac Pros are 130 watt. So, take those out because we don't need those. And let's get to work. Take this off. Take the memory out. These are always fun. This guy in particular. Oh, really? Now you pop out? Why aren't you coming out? Push in, you pull out. And you Scares me. That scares me. It's not going to go well if we're already having issues taking the memory out. Last video we upgraded with the terabyte. Now it's time to get to the processor. You know what they say, if you can't do it with a drill, you ain't doing it right. So we're going to have a drill. Uh, I do not recommend doing this. I will say that clearly. Oh, where am I putting screws? Dun 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 dun! Holy crap, Steve. So I did use this as a candy corn dish to Halloweensville. Wow. And there might be candy corn in here. Nice! The whole bracket, everything. Look at that dirty guy. No one actually shows you what a Mac Pro fan looks like after, what, six years? Here's that view. Oh, oops, I pushed on the SSD. Well, Mary go round. Ah, goes the weasel. That's nice and clean. There's the bottom. That's just wobbling. I think I take these two screws out. I really don't like how that just banks. That honestly scares me. T8? Yep. It slid off. I hope that didn't cause anything. Cause any damage. Unless I just licked my hand. I don't think any lighter touched it. Maybe that's why he gave it to me for $200. Probably put water in here and didn't tell me. So what I want to do is just use the little capacitor and just like bloop, plop it off. Might as well actually. Actually worked out pretty well. Let's try to do it with my other hand. Got it. Under plop. And then we do a little shake. That is nasty. There we go. Look at that nasty. I probably do have organisms living in here. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen like that. Well, I got some dust out. I don't see any candy corn. So that is the good news in all this. You are gonna be T8. There's the filthy power supply. <gasps> There's a candy corn! You guys were like, oh, he's just joking. He didn't use it as a candy corn dish. There is a candy corn. Proof. That candy corn does not taste good, and I'm surprised it hasn't melted further. Let's go take that off. Oh, that is, like, rock salt. It's so hard and stiff. Oh, I can make an impression with my fingernail. I'm saving you. Do I take this bracket off now or later? 
An hour later, candy. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Do I take off all eight? I don't know. Hashtag denied my warrant claim. There we go. The processor. There we go. The Mac Pro. Nice and dirty. No candy corn to be found here. I have a beautiful desk weight if this project fails horribly. I mean, look at that beauty. Jesus. Oh, damage the table. What are you doing? I'm a bird. I fly. Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, so now we grab the White Mac Pro. Clean it off a bit. Now we remove it. That's not supposed to happen. Always secure your processors. <gasps> Nikes. Dun, 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 dun. Pins! Pins, 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 pins! So we have Intel E5 2680V2. Now let's compare the backside. Pins. Okay, new theory. Do you see all these corners, how they're squared? Except for this guy. Looks like he got his corner chopped off. Well, let's try putting the processor there. And it works! It's upside down. Perfect. So, technique, don't use a drill initially. And thread it. That is on nice and tidy. Introducing the 2025 Mac Pro featuring aluminum portless design that's completely wireless with all your peripherals and completely fanless, silent yet elegant. Coming out September 2025. There's how I applied my thermal paste. Lantern. This is the right way, right? Uh, secret? This is the first time I've ever applied thermal paste to a processor before. I feel like this is a bad choice. YOLO! That scared me. I jumped a little bit, okay? Actually, I jumped a lot. Okay, now how does this go back together? I think you're involved. Because this guy goes like this. And it attaches to... Okay, if it goes like this, and this goes like this, where do the screws come from? Top, fan, bottom, this, this. Just like every other one of my projects, it's completed with missing screws. <gasps> I bet it's this guy. Oh, no, no, no. This guy goes to this guy. And then it goes to this guy. Scratch the table again. This guy. Ah, clever. Apple put rubber pads on here, so when you push down, you actually push on the pad instead of the board itself. That is clever. Okay. Mr. Flippy McFloppison. Also, this guy likes to keep out. This guy's like, we're going to have to do a drop out. Gently, gently, gently. Oh, 
I forgot the screws. The screws, I didn't know where, where they went. Good job, Mike! Yeah, Mike! Oh, I forgot to do this main cord connect. I the two screws. I didn't know where they went for the longest time. Raise your hand if you want to see the drill hammer right now. Okay. Raise your hand if you want me to use the right drill bit. No one? Really? Nope. Do not recommend the drill for tightening these bits. It will not go as expected. I got four screws. I'm guessing it goes to... Oh, five screws. Okay, so it's this guy. Spin cycle! Just so everyone's aware, my videos are unscripted. There we go, 10 cores, 115 watts. We got everything plugged in, let's turn it on to see if it works. The moment of truth. It boots! Yeah! Let's go run some Cinebench. This is going pretty good. 3.1 gigahertz, 3.08, 3.07. Not bad. Being a 115 watt chip, let's go see how many watts we're actually pulling. We're gonna look at CPU package total, and it looks to be about 100 watts. And this is going a lot quicker than the 4 core. We got 2981, which, which puts us at 300 points below the 12 core 130 watt 2697 V2 chip. A 10 core. Oh, power cable limited. 10 cores in the Mac Pro. It works, it fits, it ships, and it turns on. Please like and subscribe for more great Apple content and commentary. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please leave a comment below if there's any benchmarks or any questions you have on this particular processor or this machine. I know it's a six-year-old Mac Pro, but I still think it has value.